In this video, we will continue with maximum and minimum values of a quadratic function. You will find this on page 22 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. A curve has the equation. Express this in the form this, stating the numerical values of a and b. Okay, let's start there. So, first, take out, now I prefer to rearrange it, that I have the x squared and then the x. So, take negative 1 out, okay. So, take negative 1 out as a common factor. So, then I'm getting this. And then, I'm just going to add, I take the middle term, I divide by 2, can I just show you? This term, divide by 2, and I square, divide by 2, and I square. Okay, and then, this is a perfect square. So, it's the x, and it's the negative, and it's the 4, and square, and then this is negative 16. And now, I multiply this in, and I multiply this in. So, therefore, I can then rearrange it back, okay, do you see, to, to that form. And then I will say, but still, the value of A, because they was putting A in front, that was 60. And the value of B, where was B? This is going to be negative 4, because there was the value of B. Okay. Now, let's take the coordinates of the vertex of the curve, or the turning point, and indicate whether it's a maximum or a minimum. Now, you can already see from that, I think I'm already going to make it red, that it's, it's because it's negative x squared, it's going, and then it's going to have a maximum point. Okay, so a maximum point, because a is, is uh, smaller than zero, that's correct, it's negative. So the vertex is four, change the sign, positive 4 and 16, okay, and it's a maximum point, and then sketch the curve, so you have the vertex, you have, uh, you can factorize it to see where it cuts the x-axis, uh, so when you want to see where it, the y-intercept, you make x0, and the x-intercept, you make y0, and then you can just make a sketch with that point, okay, I want to, you to stop the video, and I want you to do number 1, Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, <clears throat> let's go on. Let's, let's just start with number one. Let's make it white. A curve has the equation, okay, y, I always write it down. Can you see it's negative x squared? Okay, so start with a. Express it in this form. Now, as I said, I'm taking this, just like I did in the previous one. Okay, I think I'm, I'm first going to do it like this. I'm just going to say minus x squared plus 6x. And if I take out negative 1, it's going to be x squared minus 6x. Okay, but now I'm going to add, so I'm going to add 6 divided by 2, so that will be 3 squared, or negative 3 squared, and I'm going to subtract negative 3 squared, and then I'm going to close, there's not a term there, and now I'm going to simplify, remember, this is now my perfect square, so I'm going to say negative 1, it's the x, it's the sign, and it's that 3 squared. Don't forget that brackets. Always, if you have a common factor. And now I'm just going to simplify. This is going to be negative 9. Then don't forget to bring it in. So there's a 1, so it's negative 1. Or you don't have to rewrite the 1. A negative times a negative is a positive. So you can already see the turning point, but let's let's just rearrange it back to this form. Do you see? So therefore, it was nine minus x minus three squared. And if you look at the originals, the it was a minus x plus b squared. So therefore. A is equal to 9 and 
B is equal to negative 3. And that will be my final answer. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the coordinates of the vertex and indicate whether it's... Now, because this was negative, so it's almost like you say... This is going for the second one. A uh, is smaller than 0. <laughs> so, therefore... Mm, let's just move this. <clears throat> so, therefore... If the curve is going to look like this, do you see? It's a maximum point. At, okay, and don't forget, you change that sign and you keep this sign. Okay, and that's your, and it's a maximum point. So now I'm going to make the sketch. Now, in this question, it's not necessary to work out the x, and, but considering the symmetry of the parable, the x are 0 and 6. But I think still, um, I'm going to, because it's actually very easy to work it out, so I'm just going to quickly continue with it. So if I want to see um, y intercept, then you make x equals 0. And if you do that, you're basically just going to get y is equal, don't forget your original equation. Okay, let's just go and write it down. So it's 6x minus x squared. So, so y is equal to 0. Do you see? And then you say the x intercept. Okay. x intercept y is equal to 0. So 0 equals 6x minus x squared. So x, okay, let's just, I just want to keep the 0 where it was. x, 6 minus x. So therefore, x equals 0 or x is equal to 6. And if I then make the sketch, now I'm just going to need a grid quickly. Let's see, let's get the grid. If I'm then making it, I'm just going to get my ruler. I want to see if it fits. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I can move it a little bit down still. Going to redo this one also. Going to use another color there. No, <laughs> ruler. That will be better. Okay, so it's going to be, let's first get my, um, can I just get this? Three and six. So one, two, three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 3. And this is 6. No, 3 and 9. 3 and 9. Sorry. Let's replot that point again. So there it is. 3 and 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It seems to be. I just want to check. This is 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this is 9. Okay. And then it's going to cut at 0. So there. And it's going to cut at 6. And then if I must draw this. Oh, sorry. I think I can do it better. Okay. Okay. I think this is not the best drawing, but I think you will be, you will get it more correct if you use a pen, so, and paper. And this is going to be 0, 0, 
and this is going to be 6 and 0. And this is going to be the equation of y is equal to 6x minus 8 squared. And there is the sketch.